Please don't. Okay, Ash Lake. We are in a, in a whole new zone. We're in the Ash Lake now. Wow, look at that. What a view, eh? Yes. Good. You shall not push! Oh, look, there. What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think this is going to help you too much, right? Greetings, Wanderer. This is Atlas here, and welcome to the Void. Before I carry on on my path to perdition, I would like to invite you to listen to my newest track, which is a track inspired by Berserk, and it's called Conceived in Blood, which is actually the song that you've been listening in the background of the intro of this video. So if you want to listen to that, please, uh, I'm gonna leave it in this card right here, but also I'm gonna leave it in the description of this video, okay? So, with that out of the way, let's darken my soul once more. I knew you would come back. I knew it. I foresaw it many, many days ago that you would come back. And you know what? We have to put a stop into this terrible search. Into this path to perdition. What are we doing to ourselves? And why? Why are we doing this to ourselves? This terrible search that we have... We have to take action upon it. All, otherwise, it will be ultimately our own demise. And therefore, we have to stop this madness. And that's why I have decided to take action upon this. And I've decided to come back to the Undead Asylum because this is, the where, this is where we belong. We have to stay in a cell, recluded, secluded from everybody else. So we don't lead to our... So we don't continue in our path to our own demise. Because otherwise, it's like the search is it's, it's unquenchable. The thirst is unquenchable. And therefore, I think it's time to go back and just finish this and stay here like we're meant from the beginning of the game. So, I am going back in my cell. Uh, this, is, this is enough, okay? I am go just going to go back in my cell and let that be the end of this. Let this be the end of this madness, of this journey of the wretched one. Because, no, I am not the undead chosen one. No. I am the- uh, I am the wretched one. And my destiny is to stay in my cell, become hollow, and hopefully not hurt anybody else. So. Uh, I do remember that there was a, a bonfire right here, right? I suppose it's still here. So let's take it the bon- Oh, let's- Okay, there's a bunch of people that died here, by the way. So I'm gonna rest here, of course. And, uh, should I go to this path? Uh, or should I take the- Yeah, why the hell not? Let's just, uh, oh, right. There seems to be, like, is that a black knight? I think it is. Let me just check that there is nothing hidden around here, but... You know... <clears throat> you know I'm right. We have to... Oh, there's actually... This, there's still the, the tutorial messages in the... In place. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you know I'm right. We have to stop this. This this nonsense of being the, the undead chosen one or whatever, it's... It's... It's, it's BS. It's just all a whole fantasy. So, oh, I almost parried that. Yeah, there we have it. Just one more hit and that's he's done. There we have it. 
Oh, for some reason, he seemed a little bit more predictable this time. Black Knight Sword and a Titanite... Red Titanite Chunk. I think that Black Knight Sword might come in handy. Let's check it out. Uh, la la la. Wow, 220 of, of damage. That's a lot. Great, oh, but it's a great sword. Uh, great sword of the Black Knights who wandered Lord Ren. Used to face chaos demons. It was used to, to face chaos demons. The large motion uh, that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago. So the Black Knights were basically uh, demon slayers. Chaos demon slayers. Ah, interesting. However, I think this this sword might probably is like let me let me check the the attributes. It's E on dexterity and C on strength. Eh. And a twenty of strength. I I mean I can use it, but it's very heavy. Let's let's see let's see what happens. Yeah, it's basically like a claymore, I think, because the claymore had the same motion of, of movement. But it's just too slow and it's not uh, I don't have any any upgrades on it, so let's just carry on. Uh so yeah, uh we're going uh, I do remember this place. Let me just what is this? I thought that it was an ill sorry wall. You can never, you can never be too sure, you know. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's always good to check, I suppose. Who is that? It's oh no! Is that uh, that's the knight that uh, that freed me uh, at the beginning of the game? And I remember that he just laid down there. In that cell, waiting to go hollow, and he want—he was the one that gave me the Astos flasks, and I, it's probably hollow right now, which is uh, a, a shame. Okay, I—I I, he noticed me. We're gonna have to fight, right? Oh no! Wow, you're oh! It's a shame that I have to kill you, mate. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you see, this is why we have to come back. This is where, where we're going to. We're gonna go Halloween. We're gonna start harming people. That's not... That's not the path of a warrior, you know? That's not the path of a wanderer. No, sir. We have to go back to our cell, that's for sure. Thing is, I don't remember what what's the way. I come from here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I remember I I uh, okay, I remember I couldn't get that specifically, but I did get a key before I came back here uh, that was on the top of the kind of chapel kind of thing ru the ruins that are in the Firelink Shrine like on the f on the roof there were uh, you know oh wait I can actually come through here I, I think I've never done this before back stepping ahead okay they're not illusory walls, are they? No, they're not. Okay. Uh, maybe I should take the the bonfire that is here in this courtyard, right? Yes. Or rather, right. I think my my um, what is it? My uh, my cell is that way. I think. But first. Uh, let me go to the upper stairs, right? And uh, okay, I, th I can see the I can see the 
the the the the, the you know the the sphere, the stone sphere there. I'm gonna fall for that again. Even that response, <laughs> which is funny, I think. Okay, uh, I do remember all this part. Yeah, all the tutorial messages are still here. But I'm pretty sure that on the other side of this, we will be able to get the the item that is there in the stairs, I suppose. Okay, so this is where I fought the Asylum Demon. Of course, it's now defeated. Yes, I understand that. Okay. Oh, there's two of them now. Okay, let me deal with you first. Oh, crap. Let me just drink, just in case. Right. Your thing. Come on. Oh, well. That works too. So yeah, uh, there we have it. That's the key, probably the key that I uh, got from the from the from the roof, right? Okay. Yeah. This is the place, all right? Look. Is that a statue? Looks like a statue. Okay, so let's get this item and go to my cell. What do we have here? A rusted iron ring. Let's see the description of that. Might as well do, just do this. Uh, rusted iron ring. Improves balance on poor footing. Right? This iron ring was used to shackle the, the guilty. It is terribly rusted and faintly stained in blood. Those who find this strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find it easier to gain footing on poor ground such as swamps. Alright. So this basically diminishes the, the crowd control, let's say, that, uh, that the swamps have on you. Like, you, you will be able to walk more freely, I suppose. So I don't know if that really comes in handy after doing Blight Town, uh, but uh, probably there are more places in the game where, you know, there are more swamps. Maybe that's the case. Who knows? So I'm gonna go back to the bog yard and I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest on the bonfire and, and then I'm going straight to back to my cell. Okay? Like there's no coming back. That this is the end. You have to stop the madness. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, I gotta say that this feels a little bit re relieving. Uh, knowing that I'm finally going to go back to my cell and to a resting place. You know, my final resting place. Where I don't have to go forward into this fool's errand. Um, you know, this hero quest kind of thing that is certainly... Like... Worthless. It's, it's, it's not worth it. So... Let's keep going. I'm almost in my cell. I heard something. I sup Wait. Wow, there's another black knight over there. This is still the same... Okay, there's a rat here. I, I don't think I've ever seen that rat when I first started the game, but... Why would I notice the rat? Uh, anyways, okay, there's a black knight covering the entrance of my cell. So they they don't want me to go back. Which is suspicious, because if this is what I want to do and they don't want me to do it, then it's probably the, the right thing to do, right? Okay. Wait, what the hell? Oh, crap, crap, crap! Wait. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Go do with that again. Go ahead. Okay. Ouch. Yeah. There we have it. Okay, now that we killed the the Black Knight. I got a red titanite chunk. Look at that. Yeah, I forgot about him. 
I did. I killed the one that was on the roof of the thing, but I didn't kill him. But anyways, it's good that he's alive because it's gonna keep me from you know escaping. You know the thirst is going to be maddening at some point, and um, I'm probably just gonna wanna, wanna, uh, gonna wanna, gonna want to get out of my cell. Okay, so we have a peculiar doll. Let's check the description of that. I wonder where that is, though. Uh, is it in uh, here? No. It's not here, is it? No. Is it in the flasks? Rubbish. Um, can't seem to find it. Maybe it's here. Chunks? No. Oh, it's here. Uh, peculiar doll. Let's see. A strange doll in strange dress. There's There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched uh, this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold, lonely, painted world. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a very good, uh, accurate description to what the world of Lord Ren is today, I would say. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. And, well, I, I would like my cell to be closed, but I suppose no, I left no one alive to do that, so... Yes! You, just, you see that? You see that there? That's my destiny. That's it. That's it. I can't. I can't do it. I can't just rot in this cell. After all that I've been through. This can't be the end of it. You can't. So. If my destiny is to be the chosen undead. Then so be it. I will go back. Okay. I will go back. It is a fool's errand. But to be honest, it's worth it. I didn't enjoy killing Sif. I think that was one of the things that actually led me to this path. But quite honestly, I don't think I, ca I, I could handle the fact that I would go mad just by the thought of what could have been, you know? It's not worth giving up right now. So it's time to go back to Lord Ren. We have been through, through so much that it's just not worth it, you know? So it's... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was out of the... Out of the blue. But anyways. Okay. Well, I suppose it's... Oh, no. No! Of course! Of course! Well, I suppose this shouldn't be that... Hard. Because I killed the other one, but this is this one's different. Way different. Oh dear lord. Well, anyways. Oh, I couldn't even. Where are my souls? Okay. We have to figure out this lad. Okay. Ah! Oh! Damn it! I think I should kill first the wretches and then I'm gonna equip my my sword with two hands. Uh, but first, let me handle this because I know they will be a nuisance when I fall down. Where is he located? It's like he's on the right side, right? So probably I can fall through the right side and land on him. You know, do a, a punching attack, I suppose. See. Oh no, he's actually covered. Let's see. Be 
get behind him because I know. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, he when he does the... I mean, I... Okay. I have to stay back, but when he does that attack, I just have to go... The other way, I suppose. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, I suppose there's no use in... Uh, in doing the plunging attack. The only... Uh, well, get your souls, mate. Get your souls. Okay, good. Oh! Here you go! Here you go! I think that's... Yeah, there we have it. Okay. He did it. He's gonna do it again. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Okay, let's get behind him, behind him again. Okay. Alright. Okay, I seem to have the grasp of this. Which you have to stay in the back. Oh! Crap! Come on. Let me just drink. Uh, can never be too careful. Oh my god! Mate! His range is crazy. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Okay, here we go again. It is unfortunate that I actually have to waste a Nestus flask just by the fall. Okay, got my my. Are you going to do your thing? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do your thing? Yeah. Go back. Again. Okay. Just have to stay on his ass. Careful! Almost. So bad. Come on, come on. Drink quick. Oh! No! Okay, he, he failed that. Okay, he's going to do the explosion. Ah! Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go behind him again. He's going to do it. Okay, go back. He's going to do it. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Come on. Okay. Go back, go behind him, behind him again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Go, 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 go. Okay. Come on. Careful! Oh, shh. Balls. Get out, get out, get out. Behind it! That was close. That was so close. Okay, good. 
He's just too close to the bloody... Okay, he's going to do his... Alright. He's just too close to the... Ah, damn it. He's so close to the... He's going to do the... Oh my god, why did I use my last S2 slacks there? He's close though, he's close. He's close to being defeated. Ah! Please don't. Okay, here we go again. Oh my... Dear lore of sin. Like, this is the worst part. Like, just having... Taking the damage from the... Pl uh, from, from the falling. Okay. Come on, just get behind him. Okay, he's going to do the plunging thing, the, the explosion thing. That was so close. Okay. Again. Okay, okay. This is the system. This is the system. You just have to stay uh, behind him. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, he's going to do the explosion again. We're doing good so far. No S2 slacks except for the... For the, for the bloody uh, fall. Okay. This is the way. And that was BS. Wow, I can't believe I survived that. On. Okay, he's going to do the explosion again. Go, 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 go. Crap. I haven't recovered my my bloody. Go back, go back, go back. My souls, mate, my souls. I haven't recovered them. But I'm doing so good so far. Wait, it went. It went. It went in between his legs. Get out. Okay, he's going to launch again. I'm almost there. I almost got him. Just your cheese. Ooh. There he goes again. Come on. Charge! I went in between his legs. That's what she said. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Like two hits. Two more hits. Go! Ooh. <sighs> and I did that without getting my souls first. I got humanity, homeward bone, and, and a titanite slab. We're going to take the titanite slab because I don't think I've gotten that before. So let's check it out. Um, where is it? Tiny, oh yeah. I had a, a a collapse, mental collapse right there. Okay, plus plus fifteen reinforce standard weapons for standard weapons and plus five reinforce for crystal and lightning weapons. Titan Light Slap for uh, uh, Legendary Slap. Okay, I think this is pretty much the same um, a description for. <laughs> Apologies for most uh, uh, slaps in the game. 
So that's good. Here. Uh, right. I I think there was uh, like a. There was a fog door uh, somewhere, right? I I do know that there was a fuck a fuck door somewhere. Uh, where where are those ladders? Were the ladders the fuck? Well, I I think that it, that's the case because uh, I don't see anything uh, else around. So yeah, let's take the stairs. I understand why would they would place the stairs there, you know. Because, um, otherwise you would go up the stairs, do a plunging attack, and, you know, cheese the, the Asylum Demon that way. So it seems that we have, uh, vanquished both the Asylum Demons, uh, this time. So, I think that if anybody gets here to get imprisoned, they will be able to get away. Uh, a more we would have more chances of just escaping, you know, now that the two asylum demons are dead. So uh, I have thirty thousand souls. I'm gonna invest that right now. Um, probably going to invest that in. Uh, uh, okay, sixteen thousand. I I'm gonna have. Okay, maybe I uh, uh, let me use. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I have like a couple of. Oh, uh, like, yeah, I have this one, so let me use this two and make a, make it up so I can use uh, two points, right? Okay, so I, I don't think I'm gonna, um, uh, what is it? I, I don't think I'm going to upgrade my strength uh, more for, for now, so I'm gonna upgrade my, okay, I, I don't have enough. <laughs> Uh, I, I forgot that if I invest one point, then the requirement goes up. But anyways, the rest I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to, to farm uh, very quickly. So I'm just going to put this in Vitality right now, and the next one I'm going to put in Endurance. Uh, yep, there we have it. So let's go back to Lord Ren, shall we? Yes, um, we are done here. Uh, even though the coming, uh, even though this quest is a fool's errand, uh, it's more, it, it, you become more of a fool to think that just coming back here and seclude yourself would be a better option. So, a fool that plays a fool, look at that. Okay, there we have it. So let's go back to Lord Ren. This is this game is a full is an inception of full errands. I went back to the Dead Asylum thinking that this was the best thing to do. Let's just go back, go math, go to Hollow, but just stay there. And because that, at the end of the day, that was my plan from the beginning, right? That was that that. I took the pilgrimage to the north. To the north to get to the undead asylum and just stay there. And just go hollow there and rot myself there. Without harming anyone. But apparently uh, my destiny calls for things that are bigger than that. So yeah, this uh, was an interesting uh, return to the undead asylum. My quest is more clear now. I just needed some time to reflect upon my path. But now I know what I have to do. One of those things is... Relit this bonfire. But I'm not gonna be able to do that unless I avenge... The murder of the firekeeper that was here in the Firelink Shrine. So that I definitely take upon my task, an urgent task, to relate this bonfire to its former glory. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and share it with your friend.
Also, please don't forget to visit my Patreon in case you want to sway the vote towards what I'm going to be reacting and breaking down next. Also, visit my coffee profile in case you want to make a one-time contribution or my coffee store in case you want a personal a breakdown for a song of your choosing, either from an anime or a video game or my Teespring shop where you can get merch and all that jazz. And of course, ex nihilo, nihil fit.